it's time to settle the score, to make a big choice. Some call it a battle, a war, a fight. But we call it the dispute, where we go back and forth from back and forth. Hey, your old news, mate. Welcome to the Transfer Exchange Dispute Show. And it's changing. And some say for the better. Because now it's not just Arsenal transfers. In fact, it's not even transfers. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, it's too restrictive. Too many restrictions. We have no handcuffs. No one's holding us back. Boom. Now, 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 you're thinking, how could we improve on what was a great show already? Well, we can. We're here from the Transfer Exchange Show to give you the best up and coming talent from around the globe. I know, we come up with such great ideas here. The best up and coming talent. The, the sweetest gems. We get here first for you. Your opportunity to brag to your mates. Top trumps their players. We cover players from all across the globe. From Spain, France, Italy, Greece, Germany. <laughs> <gasps> How can we forget England? Italy, Jamaica, Angola. We have them all and we're bringing them to you. Now, welcome to the new and improved, The Dispute. Welcome to another episode of the Transfer Exchange, The Dispute. We're here to find the best young talent from around the world. And here at The Dispute, we've got the three best scouts to find them. Today, we've got Talis Mango of Vasco da Gama, Adam Holzek of Sparta Prague and Jeremy Doku of Anderlecht. Let's hear what they've got to say about these three absolute superstars in the making. Evening everyone, Le Chef. Going to tell you about a very, very exciting 17 year old today from Brazil called Talis Magno. Not Mango, Magno. Fantastic player, absolute raw talent and ability. This kid's going places. He's only 17 years old, so he's not got many goals or assists. If anything, he's got no goals. <laughs> but he's got one assist. He's got the uh, Brazil national team under-21s looking at him. And for this sort of player, he's a centre-forward, but can play left and can play on the right wing. His best attribute for me is on the left, because he likes to link up play give the one and two when he's fantastic at whipping a ball in. He's, uh, he's always two steps ahead of a defence. He's got fantastic dri uh, dribbling ability. to get in. When he gets trapped in corners as well, he's got the tricks and the skill to get out of it. Or he's got the tricks and the skill to pay the bill, get it? But, we've been only 17 years old, I don't see anything big happening for him now, but when he hits 18 and in 21, this kid, you're all going to know him. He's been compared to have the same career as Neymar Jr. And uh, the Brazil national team, not the under 21s as well, but the national team are keeping close tabs on him as well. So that's all I can tell you about Telly's Magno. But for me, I think someone like a Chelsea, a, a Leon, uh, not Leon, sorry, a Lille, the way that they produced uh, Nicolas Pepe from a young age, and you've got Chelsea's youngsters, Ruben Loftus Cheek, uh, Callum Hudson Adohi, and uh, the midfielder that, that they've got that's come through the academy. I think it'd be fantastic for either one of those two. So that's my take on Talis Magno. Hello there, everybody. It's Steve here from the Transfer Exchange Show with this week's dispute. This week, I need you to listen very, very carefully. I need you to get a pen and I need you to write some of this stuff down. You ready? Okay. Hadam Holozik. Got that? Hadam Holozik is a 17 year old kid. He plays for Sparta Prague and he is unbelievable. He's an under 21 Czech international. This season, he has played 27 games. He has scored four goals, 
and he has got nine assists. He can play as a second striker. He can play on the left wing and he can play on the right wing. This young kid is the most talented Czech international that there's been since Thomas Rzyski. And that's quite high praise. That is very high praise. Brzezinski himself, who's Prague Sporting Director, happened to be walking past while he was on doing his training and see him and immediately, immediately signed him up for another two years onto his contract. His performances are off the charts. Off the chart. In first place, performance-wise this year, is Neymar. In second place is Hazard. In third place is Kingsley Coman. Fourth place is Eden Hazard. And in fifth place is a 17-year-old kid. What's his name? Mm -hmm. You know who it is, don't you? Adam Holizek. He's fast. He is strong. He is the youngest player ever to play for Sparta Prague. He is the youngest player ever to score in Czech football at the age of 16. I will go as far as saying that this kid could be the next Lionel Messi. He is that good. That good. I'm up against some hard players this week. My colleagues who know their stuff, who know their football, are going to come up with some fantastic arguments to tell you that they're Adam Holizek. No, this kid is off the charts. Off the charts. I am not exaggerating when I say he could be the next Messi. He is absolutely incredible go and have a look go and have a look when you've listened to me go and have a look because what do I always say you know what I'm going to say by now trust me trust me Adam Holozek. for now you all take care and you have a good evening and don't forget, Adam Holizek, the next Lionel Messi. All right, everyone, Jerome here. Want to know about one of the hottest prospects in world football and my pick for this week's dispute? Come here, and I'll tell you. Come here. Jeremy Doku. So, what can I tell you about Mr. Jeremy Doku? Well, I ain't going to bore you with any stats, any goals and assists. We'll leave that for another day. What you need to know is, he's just turned 18, so happy birthday, Jeremy, if you're watching. He plays for Anderlecht in the top Belgium division, and he's a right winger. A right winger with bags and bags of ability. He represented Belgium at youth team level, and Roberto Martinez, the Belgium national team manager, is known to be a big admirer of his. And it won't be too long before he calls him up for the full team, for his full international debut. One of Anderlecht's former coaches is such a fan of Doku, he reckons that he's even got greater potential than Eden Hazard. Doku's father recently admitted that back in 2018, his son nearly joined Liverpool, and there's strong rumours that he could be joining Liverpool in a couple of years' time. So as far as young, pacey, skillful, right-wingers go, you ain't gonna get much better than Jeremy Doku. Keep an eye on this guy, he's going all the way. Did he say messy? Even the footballing gods have got something to say about that. Let me compose myself. Oh, and by the way, thank you, Simon, for correcting me. It's Talis Magno, not Talis. Mango. And obviously, you've seen 
the, 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 the array of talent. Steve saying Messi. Steve saying Messi. But we can get over that. Check them out. And write in the comment section of what you think. I'm going to go and... Um, I'm going to go and have a lie down. And composure. Who did you like? Who are you going to check out? Hopefully all three of them. Hopefully our scouts gave you enough insight for you to look for yourself. Then let us know in the comment section who you rate the best. Be sure to catch our shows on Sunday. We've got the Transfer Exchange Show. We've got Transfer Exchange Dispute. POB coming out. We've got a chat with Louis Beneventi. Already out. Check it out if you missed it. On that note, peace out. Football's back. Stay safe. Football's back. And wash your hand. Football's back.